Alan, it's great being with you here at this uh, conference on physics of information, uh, rain, ocean, all, everything all together. Uh, one of the questions that is being addressed here is not just what information is in physics, but the claim by a few that information really is the most fundamental thing of existence, that, you know, nice with quantum mechanics, cosmology is great, but underneath everything, information is not just a way of describing everything, but it is the, the ground of everything. How do you react to that? Yeah. I have to admit, I find those issues uh, hard to parse. Uh, I've never worked on information as a subject myself. Uh, so I feel a little bit like a fish out of water at the conference, actually. Um, but my own understanding of physics uh, is that, um, to me, matter, energy, and information are almost the same thing. That is, uh, in physics, we describe matter and energy by introducing fields and equations that govern the evolution of those fields and so on. Uh, but ultimately, those fields are really just mathematical devices that we use to describe reality. Um, and the values of those fields are information. Um, so I can easily believe that there are other formulations of the laws of physics that might look completely different, but would have the same information content, uh, and they would be equivalent. Ultimately, physics is about numbers, and, and numbers are information. And everything that we use to describe the world is in terms of abstractions. I don't think we have any sense of what really exists. Maybe I could be more concrete by saying that I think that if a computer were simulating the world and carrying out the evolution that we think the world really evolves according to, that is the true laws of physics, not our approximation to the laws of physics, but if the computer knew the true laws of physics, uh, I don't know if that's a plausible description of our actual universe, but I would think that that would be completely equivalent to our universe, that we could be living in such a universe and would not know the difference. Uh, unless uh, at some very fine level you could see some fuzziness in the laws of physics that the programmers were a little so, bit... Yeah, that's not, right. Not, that's not, right. Not, not so good at doing. That's right. That's right. When people talk about uh, how we would detect such a thing, <laughs> the only answers I've heard are that there might be bugs in the program, <laughs> and you might detect those, or there might just be round-off errors. Uh, that you yeah. might but, but the claim of information goes deeper than, than what you're comfortable with. It's not just that information is another way to describe the laws of physics or embeds uh, numerical quantities, but it says that the, 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 the fundamental unit of information, the bit, the, the on-off, zero-one uh, element, the, 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 the binary relationship, the bit, is the most underlying factor, and that everything is built up from bits to the various exponential mm. powers. And that's what the laws of physics are, as opposed mm. to that's what the laws of physics can be described as. You use the term mm. an equivalent. Yes. You can have an equivalent equation, you can have equivalent in one way. That's not the claim. The claim mm. is that it's, it's, it's the most fundamental, and, right. and you're dealing with uh, the derivative. Um. Okay, well, I think all I could say is I don't see uh, a justification for that claim, although maybe I could be convinced in the future. Uh, I'll admit it's not something I've thought about a lot, uh, but unless those bits are doing something different from the laws of physics, I don't really see that there's a question here. Um, if two things are equivalent, I don't think there's any valid way to talk about which is more fundamental, and I, I see the two as equivalent.